Hello and welcome to another TCG unboxing today with Nova trading card game. It's my my third box of this TCG, not of this set, but from from this TCG. And yeah, I I pulled in my last one finally a UR card. Uh, the UR cards have some texture, but they are not guaranteed per box and. Uh, yeah, I'm not so super happy like with the art style and with the with the cards in general, but I yeah, I did buy all I think I found five five or six boxes in total. Like when I ordered my first box I I bought all of them that I could find in stock together, which was a, a big mistake in the past. <laughs> or like in retrospect. Could have probably just bought by one. And uh, yeah, would have been enough to to get a better feeling for the TCG. But now I have still I still have three boxes, and yeah, I don't really think that I can sell them here in Germany. I know it's so so niche. Don't think that anyone really have heard of this TCG. I I wouldn't have heard of it myself if not not one of my um, my subscribers would have told me. I blame you, Bob. No, but uh, yeah, there are some nice artworks, of course. Uh, but compared, like with V Cross or ZX, I think the the art style looks a lot worse. Like the the CGI style, or like the yeah. I don't know, it's the shading is often not so good. And yeah, the, the the seam of the TCG is not so great. But yeah, I have to take a closer look at the end or like after after the unboxing to to see like maybe there are like some cards with the uh, Egyptian theme or some details that I could add to my collection so I wouldn't wouldn't feel so sad that I bought so much. But yeah, sometimes there are nice at, at least I pulled I think two two SR cards that I think are pretty nice that I probably posted on on Instagram too. But this is not looking bad. That's not bad. Yeah, that's, I don't know, I I will learn from my mistakes. I mean, I have quite a few boxes from from TCGs from, from last year still. Of course, a lot of ZX, because I, I started kind of late with ZX, and uh, for some boxes or in some stores, I still found uh, like one or two boxes in stock, so I decided to pick them up and yeah I will open them over the next month or hopefully maybe like next year but yeah I hope it's not in the audio because my microphone shouldn't pu uh, shouldn't uh, pull it up like my neighbors are hammering the wall for some reason, I don't know. Maybe they just want to be noisy or make noise. Oh, that's a uh, what's the name? Ku Kunoichi, like a female ninja with the with the oni mask. But yeah, Japanese, uh, Japanese V-Cross, I, I don't know when this, I think I upload this before I open my last Japanese V-Cross. Because I will completely focus more on the, on the English V-Cross side to have more money. And I also want to go a little bit more into the gameplay. Like with these cards, I... Even if I translate every card, but I 
couldn't really like play with them. What is with her perspective? That's really weird looking like she pulled up her her arm and I don't know. It looks like there's something wrong with the perspective. And we got a an ice dragon. As I, I haven't counted them. How many SR did we pull? Probably three? Three or four? Another ninja, and and I, in the past I've seen so many many artworks where they use the moon as a bright background, and it's I don't know it's getting a not getting boring I would say it's just working fine especially when the when the character has very dark clothes <laughs> it's looking pretty fine. There's some. Sometimes the art style looks so weird. But yeah, what this character has in, in the hands looks so inspired by, by Egypt, but I don't really see like any Egyptian uh, symbols like the Ankh or the Eye of Horus or something. This would make it uh, an inclusion into my my collection. So far, I don't see it. Another foil. Yeah, the, the SRs in this box so far weren't like so exciting. Maybe we can get something in the in the last few packs. I think like also compared with uh with TTG's like ZX. Oh I like this this artwork. It's interesting. Like a dragon dragon lady. But yeah, compared to like uh, ZX, uh, there isn't like no, not much texture in this. Like the URs have texture, but it's actually not, not that good looking, I would say. But yeah, we've got a uh, another SR, probably like now the the best SR from the box. Pretty bright colors for this one, but it's it's cute looking. Maybe we can get one more hit. <laughs> what is this? That's a very weird, like, uh, comic art style. Oh, and another. She gives me, like, some Kitsuno vibes. Because of the, the fox mask. And, yeah, white and... White and, white and red are pretty often used colors for Kitsuna. Two knights. Her uh, again with the shoulder. <laughs> and another rare. So yeah, I will open the next or the last two Nova boxes and then I will never touch this TCG again, I think. I think they still have releases. Oh, another SR. Oh, that's pretty too. So the regular foiling or the, the SR foiling isn't isn't bad. But it's just not not enough for me. I need more. Especially like the gold stamping and uh yeah, that's that's really missing for me. Yeah, this and the shatter foil is just not not doing well for me. So last regular pack and then I will end with a force of will pack. It gives me like some no oh, was it I was thinking of Cyberpunk Edge Runners or like Arcane the series. Where was it with the fist? Was it Cyberpunk? Oh I think it was uh Arcane. Yeah. So, thank you for watching, and let's see what's in the in the last bag.
okay, this is the regular Anubis, but I need her in Secret Rare, not in this pack. Thank you for watching. Bye.